3i Atlas is racing toward the sun at over 37 miles per second, which is really fast. That's more than 130,000 miles per hour. It's going to pass close to the sun on October 30th, and then it'll zoom away, maybe never to return. That's why scientists are in a race against time. They want to send a spacecraft to intercept 3i Atlas and see what it's really made of. If it's just a weird rock or comet, great, we learn something new. But if it's not natural, well, that could change everything. Here's the problem though. Because the object is moving so fast and is already pretty far away, launching a new spacecraft from Earth probably won't work. It's just too late. But wait, there might be another way. Some researchers say we could redirect a spacecraft that's already out there in space. One idea is to use Juno, which is currently orbiting around Jupiter. Juno has amazing tools on board that could study the object up close. And guess what? 3i Atlas is actually going to fly near Jupiter in March 2026. If NASA can give Juno one final push, it might be able to meet up with this interstellar traveler just in time. But there's a catch. Juno's main engine has some issues, and it might not have enough fuel left. Some scientists think it's just not possible. There's another option too. Europe has a spacecraft called JUICE, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, heading toward Jupiter right now. Maybe that one could be redirected? And there are even a couple of spacecraft orbiting Mars that could possibly make the trip. But again, fuel and timing are big problems. The big question is, is it worth it? For many scientists, the answer is yes. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get close to something that didn't come from our solar system. If we can study the object up close, we could learn what it's made of. Ice, rock, dust, or maybe even metal. That would tell us more about how other solar systems form, and whether they're anything like ours. And of course, we might finally find out if it's something alien. One scientist, Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard, thinks there's a small chance this thing is artificial, not just a rock. He points out that 3i Atlas doesn't look like a normal comet. There's no tail, no cloud of gas, nothing. Just a dark object flying through space like it's on a mission. Pretty suspicious, right? Loeb says that the chances of an object like this flying naturally through the exact middle of our solar system are super low. So he thinks, Maybe, just maybe, it's not natural at all. Of course, most scientists still believe it's probably just a comet or asteroid, but we won't know for sure until we get a lot closer.